problem. Inside this jungle is an old, well, that is a split rail fence. We're going to install a new split rail fence, but the first thing we need to do is untangle that split rail fence from this jungle. And to do that, we're going to use one of these, definitely one of those, and 100% one of these. The elusive teenager. And that's it. How to install a split rail fence. Woohoo! cameraman Jack at the helm. The takeaway here is that hydraulics are great, but even if we could get all of that out of there, we're never going to be able to pick it up and put it in the dump truck. So we have to go to a slightly less sophisticated but still important tool to pick this apart and leave it in manageable clumps like this. Diagonal cutting pliers, or, or dikes by the way, are terrific little loppers for when you're in and you've got a branch in your face or something like that. Almost there. Ah! ah, okay. Should move a little easier. Factor to tractor. Tip. If you rent something like this to do a project like this, and you're not accustomed to operating equipment, probably the most important safety tip I can offer you is this, especially if you're working with other people. If you can't, you the person not operating, can't see the operator's eyes, the operator can't see you. And this machine doesn't care if you live or die. You never hang around in the radius of the machine, especially behind it, and always make contact with the operator for safe operation. Give me some more fence! The root of our problem, or one of our problems, is this vine right here, and this is a main trunk of it. Now, because we're dealing with a wire mesh fence, we've got wire present, and what I want to do when I get the chainsaw out here is make good and sure I don't have a piece of wire buried in there because it'll snag my chain. So I think that's clear. We're going to get that out of here. This goes like this. Next thing you got to have, once you get all your fencing down, is somewhere for it to go. Dumpster, for me, a dump truck is what I like. Worth its weight and fun when it works. The old trusty rusty. Whether you've got a dumpster, a dump truck like trusty rusty, or a dump trailer, when dealing with a load like this, it is very helpful to every so often compress it. This wire, even though it's very stiff, sorry about the branch, it crushes down. Use your legs like a piston. And a voluminous package will squish down and you'll get more in there. That's the point. So, no matter the power of your hydraulics sometimes, some posts just don't want to give up the ghost. So what I do, instead of wrestling it, or digging a big hole and trying to get it from in the ground. Instead, I'll just clear a little dirt away from it and cut it just below grade, like this. And if 
you think that cut was weakness of the saw or dullness of the blade, you are not aware of how hard the hard wood this fence post is made out of. I think it's black locust. It is brutal, but it's gone now. Not every obstruction you're gonna find in a split rail fence demolition project or any demolition project will necessarily be all wood. There's a steel, whatever this is, I can't get out. So what I'm gonna do is switch blades, put in the Diablo Steel Demon blade, specifically for cutting steel. I'm gonna take my reciprocating saw off of orbital action and low grade. Make the cut. So they call this attachment a lawnmower. I don't call it a mower. I call it mayhem. This is a hydraulically powered lawnmower, and as such, it is merciless. And I'm going to use it to clear out this fence line. And Jack is going to follow along and show you what's going on. Mayhem. 